What is up, dudes? This is such a weird intersection. There's three stop signs, right, left, and the one I was at. And only this road doesn't have to stop. That's so weird to me. I feel like that's just like a recipe for disaster because somebody's going to just assume it's a four-way intersection and just get plowed, I bet. Hey, buddy. You don't got to keep creeping up. Anyway, guys, today I want to talk about my three-day fast with Jigsaw Bra and that Guero. Honestly, we did this, like, I don't even know how long ago at this point. Like, probably over a month ago. It's been a couple weeks, for sure. And uh, I made a video talking about it on the Grom, but I didn't really like it. So it's kind of been a while, so redoing it. I also have just some other things to talk about. I probably won't talk about them in this one, but I am going to do, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of this. It's called 75 Hard. I'm doing that with Riley from Riley's Power Sports and some other people. Oh, and that Guero again. So I don't know how long I'll make it through that because I've never done it before. And I already struggle to drink water in general and i have to drink a gallon of water a day so i feel like that's gonna be very difficult but i don't know we'll see that's just one of the things there's a couple things uh i'll talk about that more in a specific like separate video though if that's something you guys would be interested in hearing about and uh however long i make it i'll do a video at the end of it uh talking about doing that I think there was something else too, but I don't remember. I don't know if it was about this brake lever or not. I got a new 19 millimeter for uh, stoppies. I don't really have much practice with it yet. Feels pretty good. It's definitely way different than my last one though. I was getting pretty used to my last one and it's pretty spongy. So it's definitely different, but hopefully uh, it'll help me improve my stoppies because it's all it's like grabs the same amount I guess but it takes more input so like I think you can be kind of more precise I don't know I don't know we'll figure it out but anyway yeah so there's that and then the last thing I was going to talk about is I feel like since I hit 10k on YouTube uh YouTube like started watching me harder so more of my videos almost like at least half or more that I've tried to upload so far since then are getting like demonetized uh they're not like fully red, but they're yellow, which I don't know, coming from Jigsaw Bros, I don't think it's very good. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna, I guess I'll try to figure out how to make videos to, in a way that fixes that problem. I think number one, I have to not do wheelies right off the rip anymore, which kind of sucks. But I mean, honestly guys, I'm not gonna like, this isn't what I do for a living. I don't really make that much off of YouTube anyway. So if, if I make a video the way that I want to make it and it gets demonetized, I'm just going to upload it non-monetized completely. So there's, there shouldn't be any ads on it at all, which I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to be able to upload stuff that's monetizable because it is nice to be able to make a little bit of money every month that can pay off the gas and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. It just like is a slight reimbursement, but it doesn't, it's not really much. I could make a video about what I make on YouTube too, separately if that's something y'all are interested in, but it's, I don't know what I'm, if I'm allowed to talk about it. I think I am, but I don't know. I know in the past people, YouTubers weren't allowed to talk about it. So I don't know. I'm assuming I should be able to wheelie at this point too, but I'm not totally sure. But anyway, let's get into a three day fast because uh, that was pretty interesting. So day one was a Sunday and our last meal was supposed to be at 7 p.m. So we all went and got something uh, for our last meal. I say, I say last meal, it kind of sounds like it's our last meal on death row or something, but uh, I just got like a sweet and spicy bacon burger from Whataburger. It's pretty freaking fire. I love that burger. That's like my go-to. I forgot what uh, Jake Spra and that Guerrero had, but that's what I had. I had some Whataburger. And it was crazy because I feel like I don't know why, but they gave me so many more fries. Like, we didn't get large fries. We just got regular stuff, and they just absolutely packed the fries. I took a picture of it, but I don't know if I have it anymore. But they loaded it up like they knew I was about to stop eating for three days. It was crazy. But yeah, so anyway, we had that. And then next day, I go to work. I work 8 to 4.30. So, and normally, I don't eat breakfast. Like, I probably drink, like, a cup of water in the morning after waking up, and that's about it. And then uh, I try to eat lunch around, like, 
12 30 to 1 that way the second half of the day doesn't go by too slow because if you start it at 12 30 or 1 you end and it's probably more around like 12 30 you end at 1 um, you only have three and a half hours left of the day you know make it a little bit easier make it feel like it goes by a little faster so i'm pretty used to not eating breakfast and i had a dinner so first like first section of I don't know if you'd still call it the first day. I guess the first 24 hours really wasn't bad. <coughs> um, so this is a Monday and uh, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm not eating and I do stand like my job's like a little bit physical, but it's not too bad. Um, depending on what I'm doing, I could sit down a little bit. I wrap cars. I guess I'll just tell you I wrap cars, but I'm not like a pro at it or anything like that. Uh, I got hired a couple months ago. And I'm still kind of learning, but I'm at the point now where they can put me on pretty much whatever project and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I actually wrapped a piece of my girlfriend's fairings because uh, she dropped her bike and broke it the other day. So I can show you all that real quick. I'm okay. I'm, I'm better than most people who probably think they could wrap, and I, but I still have plenty to learn. Um, mostly I just have to get more efficient but as far as like doing a good job and having a good final product I'm pretty much there so yeah my job's a little bit physical but it's nothing crazy so first first day at work I just go ahead I don't take a lunch or anything get a little bit of extra moolah you know it wasn't really that bad hunger pains I don't know this isn't the first time I've gone uh, three days without eating. I've always been kind of a chubby kid, so I've done fasts in the past. Uh, only once that I do like three days without eating, and I, I was young enough to not be working back then, so that one wasn't even really hard. And I was probably drinking like flavored water, so it was easier to stay on top of drinking water because I was putting like lemonade packets in it or something, just like sugar free stuff. Uh, but on this one, it was a little more strict, so it was supposed to be only like mineral water which, oh, I want to go down there. I've never seen that before. Uh, I don't know. This one is a little more strict, and honestly, we didn't even start allowing ourselves to drink more beneficial stuff until, like, the end of the second day or something. Um, so I was kind of screwing myself, really. Yeah, so I was just drinking regular water. I wasn't really getting salt. I wasn't really getting minerals or vitamins, anything like that. Just water. And, uh, but it wasn't really that bad for the first day because I'm, you know, hunger pains aren't really that, that bad to me. Um, so yeah, first day is going pretty good. By the end of the day, like, obviously I'm hungry, like, here and there, but it's, you're not really, like, constantly hungry. It kind of, you get a little, you get hungry for, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour or something like that. And then it just kind of goes away and then it might come back later. But for the most part not eating the hardest part about not eating is really just it's kind of a habit it's almost like an addiction but it's not really an addiction because you have to do it but it's just weird when it comes to dinner time and you're not going to eat you're not even thinking about going to eat and also like hanging out with my girlfriend and stuff i'm kind of like okay what can we go do because we can't just go eat you know so it kind of makes you realize that eating is somewhat of an activity that you can like go do and uh so it opened up like more time for other stuff to kind of um uh, but yeah first day really wasn't that bad second day is kind of where things started getting worse um so and this is so tuesday the hunger really still isn't that bad but my legs were killing me like if you guys have ever noticed when i do foot drags on the bike which maybe I could do one for you since... Oh man, I'm really just getting into residential stuff, huh? Well, if you've ever noticed, I only foot drag my left foot burnt through shoes all the time doing it because my knee just really can't handle... Let's see. Foot drag. My left knee really can't handle... Stop sign. Uh, doing like a one-legged squat. I just can't get back up from it Woo! Do a little wheelie for him Stoppy Ooh, front brakes feeling pretty good. Wow. I've never seen this area. This is crazy um, But yeah, 
left knee just can't handle that foot drag so anyway point being well wow, everybody's walking their baby out here today huh um my left leg was really just kind of killing me in the knee area and behind like hamstring whatever kind of stuff so standing for most of the day at my job was starting to get pretty rough but it is what it is just gotta tough through it it's work and also like drinking stuff that had no flavor was really getting boring it makes it hard for me to keep drinking water so we kind of started getting like some flavored stuff oh let's make this curve come on come on come on oh i was trying to downshift into a circle oh well i guess we'll just turn back around and get out uh yeah it was kind of starting to get painful on my legs that was really the only place that i was experiencing pain i was also kind of tired and uh getting a headache and stuff but that's not really that bad just minor but i was kind of disappointed because i figured like by tuesday especially like halfway through the day or end of the day i'd probably start feeling really good i was hoping that my body would kind of switch over to burning fat and uh you know start uh i guess these people are gonna wait for me um i was hoping that my body would switch over to burning fat and start feeling better but it hadn't already started yet i don't really have a fast metabolism so it's probably it takes a little longer for me than other people it didn't really seem like any of us were feeling all that great though grandma probably doesn't like the wheelies but this will be like the only time i'm ever in here so we'll just end up on a neighborhood watch and <laughs> never show up again but anyway yeah nobody was really feeling all too great though from this stuff so it is what it is though oh this road is curving wow where does this go I'm just experiencing everything is that a school? Ah, oh, we gotta check it out. This video is probably gonna be long because I cannot get to the point, man. I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, long story short, I was in pain. It wasn't the worst pain ever, but it wasn't no pain. And I prefer to live life, you know, a little more comfortable. Not in pain. So yeah, get to the end of the second day. Hunger's still not really that bad. Probably kind of starting to drink like still zero calorie stuff. Maybe have a little bit of flavor in there. It's still just water with like minerals or whatever. Um, third day comes around. I basically feel the same as the second day. It's kind of only getting worse, especially with the leg pain. So I was, I was pretty ready to be done. Um, I don't know it also got really cold at the time so I don't know if it was mostly from eating or from being cold or what exactly like I can't really say for sure the problem was from not eating but pretty sure it's from not eating because I felt way better after the next day after eating but fast forward to seven o'clock on Wednesday to end our three days Wow Oh, I don't know why I'm so out of breath, man. I need to get in better shape. Uh, just from a little bit of stunting in the cold. Taking me out. And I'm talking, I guess. But, yeah. Um, but, anyway. So, 7 o'clock. We have our meal to break the fast. Um, we all went and ate together at this restaurant. Pretty nice restaurant. Had some steaks. And, uh... very crazy thing happened so I've been wearing an Apple watch I'm not wearing it today but if you guys have like paid attention you've seen a little bit probably that I wear an Apple watch here and there not much of a watch guy but I don't know it's a it's kind of cool to have one sometimes so I wear it every once in a while and I was wearing it whenever I was eating and my heart rate 
which I didn't realize at the time it was my heart rate jumping. I, I just started eating and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so good. I feel so like energetic and strong. I feel like I can lift so much weight right now, like 600 pounds, you know, I don't know. I felt like freaking maniac and, uh, and I didn't know why. And then uh, I keep feeling that way, like the whole time I'm eating. And after a little bit, I kind of started feeling like, ooh, kind of feel like my heart's bumping a little bit. I opened up the thing on my Apple Watch, check my heart rate, and I was at 130. I mean, normally, like when when I wear it and I'm just chilling at work and I look at it, it says like, oh, you know, five minutes ago you were at 76 beats per minute or something like that. So to jump to 130 just because I started eating, that's pretty crazy. And the fact that it lasted the entire time that I was eating, it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But also, it might have been because I started uh, my dinner with some lemonade. Because uh, I think we were thinking that soda wasn't going to be the best idea for us. So I was like, okay, I'll just get some lemonade. So it's probably that sugar, just giving me a little bit of a sugar high. But anyway, this guy's smiling. Yeah. You know what I've noticed? So people in like the more low income neighborhoods, they don't really give a f about Sonic. But, you know who kind of likes it? But who could also be equally as mad? More higher income areas. Normally though, it seems like they think it's pretty cool. But, it's kind of just less risky to go ahead and go in an area where they don't care because you won't get one good you won't get one mad or happy and you'll be left alone unless you're like hogging up the road and slowing people from getting where they're trying to go because i don't know about where y'all are but here in texas people want to go where they're trying to get they don't want to be held up everybody speeds so yeah you don't want to block all the roads that's how you piss people off no matter where you're at but I don't know every time I've rode in like a nicer area people usually think it's pretty cool when I do wheelies so oh, I guess to, to end the story not on the best note everybody kind of got the shits from finally eating again after three days but surprisingly I took it better than everybody else well not really surprisingly I don't know I guess not I don't know why it would be surprising it's just random but Come on, go to the left. I'm struggling. This road is slant. Oh my gosh, you guys are eating a dead thing. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, so that's basically my three day fast with them, with the homies. I mean, we'll probably do one again at some point. I don't know. Next time we'll probably be a little better prepared. And maybe next time our bodies will like transition into burning fat or whatever faster maybe we'll feel a little better or maybe not i don't know i kind of don't really want to do another one because it did hurt my legs so much for working oh 